Uh, build episode number 16. Uh, another oldie coming at you right now. Good morning. Um, back to it. Um, yeah, so uh, check it out. This thing's been... This is this ugly thing, but this is this, this thing with my dad's screws in it and everything. Um, it's got that sealant in it, which is pretty pretty hardcore sealant actually. Um, and then I've got this. So I'm gonna reface this surface here, just clean up a lot of this sealant here um, and, and rub that off. And then I'll, I'll probably just make sure that this is totally clean and flat, ready to take the heater um, mounting plate. Um, and then uh, once that's finished up, then I'll go ahead and hang this and we'll prime and paint it. That'll kind of get the day started. Okay, that took five minutes, but anyway, that's all cleaned up on here. And uh, I'm just gonna get this hung up and hit it, hit it with primer right now. So that's step number two. Okay, that's, uh, that's gonna dry now. Um, so basically first coat, I'm gonna do two coats of primer. It's pretty light just to get the, the basic coverage on it. Uh, second coat, be another light coat, basically. You don't need very much of that stuff, so. Um, anyway, uh, so I'm gonna drill out these, these screw holes now, um, but because there are some areas where I'm not sure what I'm drilling into, um, I'm pretty sure this is a fairly safe area of the van. There's no fuel tanks or anything like that that I need to worry about. And the screws I have are very, very short. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a drill stop on my drill bit just so that the drill bit doesn't go through and then really go through and go into something I don't want it to go into, so. Okay, so I got all those holes drilled. Um, I'll probably put a dab of seal in on that, but I can do that later. But uh, in any case, um, I'm just gonna vacuum up the mess here and then that's uh, good to go. You're almost ready for installing that part. Just gotta paint it now. Okay, so that paint is still drying and um, seemed like a good time right now. I should have picked this up before I even came here, but I just totally forgot about it um, but I'm picking up I'm gonna go get some Permatex high temp um, sealant which is kind of like a silicone that you can put on exhaust pipes and stuff like that um, that's uh, I'm gonna use a little bit of that product for that gasket between the, um, the heater mounting plate and the manifold and I'm gonna use a little bit where the uh, exhaust pipe connects on to the exhaust port of the heater itself. So anyway, I'm just on my way to get that right now. And this is the uh, high temp gasket stuff. I tend to walk up these things. Christmas guys. Still a bit tacky, so I'm gonna give this some more time to dry. Nice color, eh? <laughs> Who cares, man? It's gonna be hidden behind a cabinet. It's kind of a weird washed out kind of white color. <laughs> like really yellow eggshell. <laughs> anyway, um, right, so I'm gonna work on the next parts of, I guess the exhaust or the heater system, so I'm gonna start working on that. I haven't 
haven't used this stuff in a long time. It works really well though. So what I've got here is I've got the exhaust pipe here with the insulation on it. And I'm gonna go ahead and fit that on there. I'm just gonna apply some of that gasket sealant to the inside of this so that we get a little bit of a nice bond in there. So I'm gonna put a little bit in here because it's it's got those internal threads on it. Just like that. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing more I need to do. Um, so yeah, I'll just there is a little bit more, so I'm just gonna use my finger on the inside of this and just help to press that into these threaded areas. Okay, so far um, I've taken the bumper off because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the fuel line out of that hole that's up in there and up and it's gonna come down and it's gonna come around here. I don't think I'm gonna go through here but I'm gonna like slip it underneath here and then up. And then it's gonna run along the inside edge of the bumper, probably just around here and then zap strapping on a few places and then around and then back up. And I might put it through the vehicle here and have it go through the cabinets and into the tank or I'll go underneath and around the wheel and then up through the floor. And then I fitted this piece, uh, which is just a plastic plumbing fitting. Uh, I just glued it in place in that hole that was there. And I'm gonna run the fuel line through that. It's just gonna be better protected. Um, I just checked out the wiring harness and the installation manual. The next step is pretty much like figuring out where I'm gonna put this guy. Um, and this is the fuel pump. It's gonna go outside and it's gonna go closer to the fuel tank than the, the unit. So it's probably gonna go down in this area somewhere um, or up there. So I'm gonna mess around with this for a bit and then I'll show you guys later where I ended up putting it. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll have a wire going out to that and uh, I'll get going. And the fuel fuel filter needs to be before this um, and also outside of the vehicle they recommend. So, um, which kind of sucks because I was hoping to put it like with a fuel tank. That way I could just like, if I needed to replace it, it's all right over there. Um, 
as opposed to pulling the bumper off and changing a fuel filter that way because that's a pain in the ass. I'll think about this. Maybe there's a better way to do it all. Okay, so for the insulation, I don't know if this is something that is acceptable or not, but I used a bit of copper uh, wire around here and twisted it on just to anchor this sleeve so it doesn't slide this way. I don't want it to move. I want it to really be positioned so that it stays in place. And I used a little bit down here as well. I trimmed a bit here to get over this clamp. And so it just gets down a bit further on this side and a little bit of copper wire as well. I know potentially that copper wire could warm up. Um, but I I think it might be fine. I'll cross check it with the guys at Plenter. And then this is the fuel. I just have some electrical tape covering the hole so nothing gets in there. And then this is the air intake. So, hey, so I just got off the phone with the guys over at Plenter Heater. Um, and we talked about um, where this is gonna go, how far it needs to be from the fuel tank and stuff. And he says, it's not an issue for, for the size of vehicle that I've got. This can go on the outside um, anywhere pretty much. It, and uh, 700 uh, millimeters from the fuel tank isn't really applicable in this case. Um, there is a paragraph that says it's really applicable if this thing sits above the fuel tank, but it's gonna be below the fuel tank anyway. And then in terms of the fuel filter, he's like, it's recommended to have it on the outside uh, in the sense that if ever it gets crushed or damaged in any way, then the fuel leak's gonna happen on the exterior of the vehicle as opposed to the inside. But he says, certainly you can put it right beside the gas tank itself. Uh, you'll just have to be aware of it. And then, uh, and sure, I can be aware of that. And then it's gonna be easier for me to replace a filter on it if I need to later. And then I, we spoke about kerosene uh, like just one more time. And he's like, absolutely, you can use kerosene. And I told him that's what I got for now. I'm gonna use kerosene for starting it up. Um, and he said it's actually a better fuel in colder temperatures because it doesn't get jelly uh, like diesel fuel will. So if I do go into up north north, then I just burn kerosene. Um, and then everything else is fine. We talked about all the other questions I had and I'm on track. So I'm gonna keep going on this job here. Okay, good to use my Rivnut setter. So I'm gonna put the fuel pump right up here like that. And this is just a piece of body work. So I'll put a rivnut right in there and that'll hold this uh, fuel pump in place. So my parts, I just drilled it out. It was 2364 drill bit. So that's fine. So that's gonna go in and First time using that tool and it bent the tool. I have to contact these guys and just ask them what I did wrong about that. So anyway, that looks good to me. So I got the fuel pump uh, wired in, and that's the hole for the fuel line right there. Um, that's gonna go on that side, and 
and this is gonna go towards the fuel pump. And that's how it's supposed to be mounted, so um, direction of flow is this way. Definitely say building this box was the uh, most difficult part or time consuming part of this job, but uh, there it is. Pretty solid. Um, still a little bit tacky, but I'm, I'm okay with that. And so there's the hole for the, uh, for the exhaust and the air intake, and then I'm going to send the fuel line through there just to help keep it as far away from the exhaust as I can. And then once it's through the hull, then I'll route everything uh, in a way that makes the most sense. So as you can see, I got sealant that came spilled all the way in the inside. So I don't even need to get in there, which is perfect. Um, so that looks great. And that, that worked out really well. I just put some sealant over top of everything as well. So that thing's in there really good. So next up is uh, running some fuel line through there. So I guess I'll we'll run the fuel line through it right now. Okay. So that's butted all the way down. I can feel it got to a hard stop.
pain in the ass. I need that. How can I get in there otherwise? Let's go a little bit better. Oh, fuck. Fucking extension's too long. Oh, I know how I can do it. It's gonna be a pain in the ass. But it'll work. <clears throat> I got that extension. I got this anemic little angle screwdriver. Anyway, that works. Okay, cool. Done. So there's the exhaust. It's mounted. It's solid. It's mounted on there really good. And then the end is mounted right here. There's another rev nut in there. And this is the exhaust outlet. There's a little cap on it. It's round on one side. That's there for when it's running low. It just creates enough back pressure, I guess. I'm not really sure. Um, but we'll say that's an important part. And then along here, a rib nut in here. Uh, yeah, there's uh, one on the exhaust pipe, one there. Fuel line, I added uh, some tubing from an old toilet. It was a pressure tank, so this is high pressure line. Um, just to give a bit of protection on the fuel line right across this ridge. And then uh, there's the air intake. And it's mounted up here with a rib nut. Um, it's pointed backwards. It's just above this leaf spring and there's not really any shit up there All that kind of mucky stuff is just um, the undercoating that's on this car And then up here, there's where the fuel line goes. You can see it back there And there's the insulation for the exhaust pipe. Now I still want to get up in there and put a little bit of insulation around those edges um, so I'm going to do that now, but uh, for the most part, it's done. There's another protection bit, just as it goes over this edge, and then the fuel line comes across. Uh, it's, there we go, it's just in there. And then it's here, there's another protection bit right here. I gotta tighten this all up. Uh, that's the electrical. I don't know why in the drawing they have it so that the plug is on the bottom, but that's how they told me to install it, just like it was in the picture. Uh, I don't think it makes a difference, but I probably should have spun that around so it's on top. But anyways, I'm sure it's fine. It's all waterproof anyway. Uh, probably fuel proof too and then fuel lines all oh, this is all tight uh, red goes to number one black goes to the other one that's for the wiring here and then I just taped it and they both go through here um, and that looks like that right now so there's the fuel line I got a little cap on it and there's the electrical to the fuel pump so, I mean, the next step is to do the fuel tank and all that, um, but I'm getting to this point now where I need to move on very soon. Um, but there's a heater, and this turned out really well. And that's still a little, a little bit tacky, but that's fine. Cool. So I won't fire it up today, but uh, it's probably fine just to let everything settle in, including the gasket material for the exhaust system. So I'm going to give that the night to set up, and then we'll fire it up tomorrow. Huh. <laughs> Didn't realize those were on my head still. So, <clears throat> all done for today, of course. I think I said that already, didn't I? Saying it again. Maybe I'm editing it out. Maybe I'm leaving it in, having a snack. Um, so I ran into one issue. The fuel pump 
where it's mounted is actually um, preventing me from installing the bumper properly. So the, the, there's one screw that's out of the bumper right now and there's a couple fittings on the bottom side that are out. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is for tonight. Um, and I can see just by looking at it that it's kind of off. Um, so I need to remount that fuel pump and it's good that I do it now because I got a little bit of slack in the fuel line um, that I can move it around if need be and kind of adapt it a little bit. But I'm tired and uh, I've had enough for today. I'm going to finish this up tomorrow and then start it up tomorrow. Um, well, in the meantime, it's really nice just to kick back and kind of feel good, feel happy, feel like fucking right. <laughs> that's a that's a big step out of the way, um, and that's going to make things a lot better in the van because it is getting colder, and that's going to be. Uh, quite a big help yeah it feels really good in here right now so <clears throat> I don't have this floor piece in I actually have to trim it to fit around that now um, and the side panels <clears throat> I just leave those off for the time being um, just until I figure out the route for the wire and the uh, fuel line and I don't want to put this one on because there's sealant in the back of it that's still curing and I don't want to affect that. And get it all over the panel is what I mean. Well, <clears throat> I'll sweep the floor in here and clean it up. I'm going to leave some of my panels here overnight. I was hoping to install that today. Um, but there just wasn't enough time. Uh, so that's coming. That'll be soon. I, I want to get this stuff in the van sooner than later. Uh, it just feels better not having it stored here or stored in the van where it can easily get lifted. At least this way it's a little bit more difficult. So, yeah.